hello welcome back to another interesting topic in today's video i'm going to show you how to calculate your safe days to avoid pregnancy but before we get into this video if you're visiting my youtube channel for the first time why not subscribe and turn on the notification bell to enable you to notify you anytime i upload a new video from this channel and to subscribe is free so go ahead and subscribe i believe this video will be of help to you and your loved ones so don't forget to share with your loved ones now safe days are those days a woman is unlikely to get pregnant if she has unprotected intercourse also safe days varies from woman to woman it depends on your menstrual cycle my safe days might be different from yours because my menstrual cycle is not the same with yours and it varies from woman to woman so as I'm about to teach you how to calculate your safe period, make sure you know how to calculate your menstrual cycle. If you don't know, there's a link below this video that can give you a guide on how you can calculate your menstrual cycle. Because knowing your menstrual cycle helps you in several ways. It helps you know your fertile days, your ovulation day, which is your most fertile day. It also helps you to know when to avoid pregnancy that is to know your self days now i'm going to use a woman with 30 days menstrual cycle to show you how to calculate the self days let's use a woman with 30 days menstrual cycle to know her ovulation day and her self days assuming that she saw her menses the first day was on the first of january this first of january becomes her day one and the next menstrual period, let's assume that she'll be seeing it on the 31st of January. It means that this woman has 30 days menstrual cycle. Remember how I showed you last time. The first day is going to be her day one. So this is day two. This is day three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29 and 30 that means she has 30 days menstrual cycle now remember that ovulation takes place 14 days before the next menstrual period the way menstrual cycle varies from woman to woman is the way ovulation also varies from woman to woman now for this woman with 30 days menstrual cycle you know that she was going to ovulate on day 16 because you subtract 14 from the cycle 14 from from that ovulation cycle be getting 16 that means on the 16 this woman will ovulate which is here i'm trying to use this to show you how you can calculate the safe days with this example you'll be able to do it no matter your own menstrual cycle it could be 28 days menstrual cycle, 34 days, 24 days, 25 days, 23 days, no matter the menstrual cycle, is the same method. Now, this woman ovulates on day 16, and on day 16 is her most fertile day. Remember that sperm survives in a woman's body up to five days. So if she has unprotected intercourse, five days, before her ovulation or her ovulation day or a day after her ovulation the tendency of her getting pregnant is there so five days leading to her ovulation day her ovulation day and a day after her ovulation day are considered her fatal days or you can call it fatal window on the 11 she's fatal that is a woman with 30 days menstrual cycle 
on day 11 she's fertile day 12 that's the second fertile day she's fertile on day 13 on day 14 she's fertile on day 15 she's fertile on ovulation day that is her most fertile day then a day after her ovulation day is also still her fertile day although you know ovulation lasts 12 to 24 hours once it's released so even a day after her ovulation she may not really get pregnant but she still have the chance of getting pregnant so any other day the period dates then two days after her ovulation day till when the next menstrual period starts again are her self days let me say it again days before the fatal day begins because sperm survives in a woman's body for up to five days okay so those days before the fatal days remember the fatal days for this woman with 30 days cycle starts on day 11 so the days before day 11 are her self period then days after two days after the ovulation day till when the cycle starts are her self days then for a woman with 28 days menstrual cycle you remember that she ovulates on the 14th Remember, every woman does not ovulate on the 14th. It's only those with 28 days menstrual cycle. Find out your own menstrual cycle, okay? So if there isn't a woman with 28 days menstrual cycle, you know that on day 14, that is here, this woman will ovulate. She will ovulate on day 14. That is a woman with 28 days menstrual cycle. And for this woman, her five days won't be from the 11 again. It's going to be from day 9. From day 9, she is fertile. That is a woman with 28 days menstrual cycle. She is fertile from day 9. So day 9, day 10, day 11, day 12, day 13, she is fertile. So if she should have unprotected intercourse within these days she will get pregnant most likely then on her ovulation day and a day after her ovulation day so any other day she is free that is her self days so days before night and days after 15 that is from 16 this is for a woman with 28 days menstrual cycle for a woman with 26 days menstrual cycle woman with 26 days menstrual cycle you know that she ovulates on the 12 subtract 14 from 26 and you get 12 you will get 12 so a woman with 26 days menstrual cycle of late on the 12. So five days leading to the ovulation day and a day after the ovulation day are still her fatal days. Days before the fatal days begins and days after the fatal days are her self Period. But remember, if you really want to avoid pregnancy, that means you should abstain from unprotected sexual intercourse. Thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have found it helpful and you would like to watch similar videos from this channel, don't forget to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, turn on the notification bell, and also share with your friends. See you in my next video. Bye.